Hey everyone, today's quick tip, we're going over tier four engines and what you need to know. Check this out. Okay, so today, real quick, tier four engines and the emission controls that are in them. Most newer equipment has tier four. You've probably heard that. It's definitely in the US, that's uh, the term they use. In some other countries, it's different terminology, but overall, it's just a more environmentally friendly machine. And it's usually doing something with the exhaust on the machine. So we like to talk about what the two different systems, because you'll hear a lot about regeneration and other pieces. And as an operator, you need to make sure you understand your machine. Two pieces to that, uh, the regeneration process. Now our Komatsu, there is a passive and active regeneration. And we'll cut in some images here to show you what that display looks like. What that is, is there is a diesel particulate filter on this machine. And as the diesel exhaust goes through it, it's taking in that soot or any of those pieces, and it's holding onto them in that filter. And what the regeneration process does, it basically incinerates them. It, it, it's burning that up, so it's cleaning out that filter. Now, most machines have a passive uh, regeneration, and what that means, the exhaust itself is gonna be hot enough to burn off a lot of that. But there's periods where it actually needs a little supplemental, so that's where it's active regeneration, where it actually, uh, one, they suggest you're working the equipment, because the more you work that equipment, the hotter the exhaust is, and that'll burn a lot of that off, but they'll actually kind of heat it up as well and incinerate that. That's gonna clean your diesel particular filter off. The second piece, I'm sure we've all heard, we love DEF, D-E-F, diesel exhaust fluid. I know it can be a pain because operators, they don't like having to fill a separate tank on there, but it is really key, it's the second part of that. And that, the diesel exhaust in these machines has a lot of nitrous oxide, monoxide, nitrous dioxide. And what happens with that diesel exhaust before they put it out there is they actually spray it. It's this, the DEF is uh, urea. It is a added chemical reaction where they put that through this chamber, this process. Again, this is well above my, above my pay grade, but what I like to explain to operators is what that's doing. And then you're basically just ending up with nitrogen and water. So it's a lot cleaner machine. So those are the key elements. The biggest piece of these is that's why they don't want excessive idling on these, the newer equipment. Because as you just let that idle, you're building up that exhaust and it's not able to burn it off. So that's why they recommend it, working the machine actually harder. So you're gonna get a symbol, it's gonna be yellow on there for our Komatsu machines that'll indicate it's going to an active regeneration. And you just wanna work the machine harder. Uh, you don't just wanna let it sit. Or if you do, you put this lock lever down and just let the machine take over and it'll actually run uh, the machine at a little bit higher RPM to try and clean out that filter. So that's everything about the tier four engines. I know there's a lot of questions. Anyone that has more questions, please put any comments below. Um, but thank you for tuning into this one.